family was shame. Barely six years old, beckoned into a shop. That little shack made of wood and, and plastic boards tattered like my childhood. Zazadama, Shebet. These are the names of sweeties we used to like. They have one, have, have two of anything you like. A creaking sound, a, a banging sound, a, a locked door. Darkness. Neighbor, friend of fathers, knew him all my life. Makadi, a new baba. This is how we used to greet our elders. Baba? Baba? Who is Baba? Age is nothing but a number, man. A wisdom, a wisdom man familiar to us. Minutes, minutes slow, slow to pass like tortoises. Hands, hands into fists transform. Smiles, smiles long gone. You just call me sweetie, okay? You just call me sweetie and I'll give you all these sweeties. That would be rude. I just couldn't. Elders are to be respected as if they are as if as if they are our very own parents. You little prostitute. I was confused. That is a word. That is a word I was sure I did not know. But a word. A word I was sure I heard before. Father, father calls mother that word. When a scud or two he has had, the scud is father's favorite brew. I think, I think they call it a scud. I think they call it a scud because it is, it is this way of turning, of turning a home into a war. But this, this was, this was Baba, this was Baba Tashinga, the kindest businessman in all of Makuba. Come close, closer, closer still. Do you want a sweetie or not? I do. He, he shuffles closer, hovers over, eyes, eyes piercing my little body like, like, eyes piercing my little body like laser. Shh. If you ever, ever did, if you ever dare to tell anybody, I'll tell the whole village that you are a little thief. I'll say you stole, you stole this packet of sweeties that you did not pay for. You hear me? Respected businessman or little village prostitute. Who do you think, who do you think they would believe? Huh? You, you don't want to be arrested now, do you? I said no. I said no, but... But what for? I did not know. Police arrest children who are naughty, he said. Now, be a good girl. Be a good girl and drop your skirt. I did. God, it hurt. Gave me a sweetie after said it would make everything better. It didn't. I bled and bled and bled. But, but the fear, the sheer fear in my bones was, was much redder and much stickier than blood. Mommy, 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 I cried. No reply. Sprawled, sprawled on the floor, crawled to the door. Again, he shuffled closer, hovered over, and did it again and again and again. Each time he did it, each time he did it, I'm sure, I'm sure I died. 
Then he sighed. Then he sighed, deeply satisfied. The way one gets satisfied following a long day's toil after a cupful of maheu. Maheu is a traditional brew that grandmother lovingly made out of leftover food. Throwing away food was not the thing to do in those days. Smiles returned. Fists, fists unclenched. The door, the door opened and daylight crashed in like a storm in the night and, and blinded, blinded my eyes. More sweeties? No, thank you. Staggered outside, confused still. Strange words ringing in my ears like bells at the seminary. Prostitute, prostitute, police, thief, prostitute, police, thief. I wished, I wished, I wished it would not stop. Mother smelled the rat. She asked. I told. Knew she would understand. I was wrong. I wished, I wished, I wished it would stop. Mother, mother smelled a red. She asked. She asked. She asked and I told. Knew she would understand. I was wrong. She cleaned me up. Told me to shut up and grow up. Family or shame, she said. Our neighbor, our neighbor is a kind man, she said. Look, look. Look and see all the sugar and wufu he gives us for free. Wufu is the stuff out of which our food is made. The sugar and wufu did not stop coming. All I had to do was to be good and do as mother said. This is what it means to be a woman, my child. This is what it means to be a woman. We all had to grow up before our time. We had to think. We had to think. We had to carry our villages on our shoulders. Why do you think? Why do you think our village is called Makuba? Makuba is a Shona word for graves. Graves of little girls who did, who did not shut up and grow up. I tried. I tried hard to grow up just like mother and grandmother had and all the women of Makuba all the women of Makua before my time. But I did not know how to grow up. I was only a child. I wondered whether the graves after which our village is named would swallow me while I slept, like a cup of my hell following a long day's toil. I wondered, I wondered, is this why, is this why they call us children of the soil? The cold nights, the, the, the long shadows, creaking sounds and locked doors, crawling on the floor, wallowing in anguish. They said I was possessed. Said I needed to be cleansed. Father took me to, to pastor to the pastor's house. Pastor is God's representative on earth, Father said. Does God rape little children too, who are naughty? Now 32, still feeling scarred, scared, and dirty. Want to tell my husband, I know I should, but, but how can I? How can I risk becoming a silly little girl again? How can I, how can I, such abomination of refusing to grow up and justify and justify it? How can I justify it at my foregone age? How dare I preach the gospel of shame against the gods of the earth? My ears are too full. My bones too sore. The, the wounds are too deep and the screams, the screams, the screams are too loud. Family or shame. Family or shame. Family or shame. Family. Family or shame. Family or shame. Family or shame. I knew. I knew she would understand. But I was wrong.